So Liam, what the last uh, few days been like? Um, really difficult, um, really difficult few days, especially the result first and foremost, we're aware wasn't he anywhere near good enough um, and the result of that, the, the manager leaving, so massive disappointment there. Um, we've obviously feel the responsibility that we've caused that, which is never nice, um, the consequence of our poor, results, uh, our poor performances as players, so I really, really difficult time, um, not enjoyable for anybody at all. When come Wednesday night, some are only going to be feeling sorry for us, so we need to be ready to go again because there's still plenty of games left of the season to, to try and to try and save it and try and um, remain in the league because ultimately that's that's the target where we're at at the moment. Have you or any of the guys spoke to Stevie since? Then? Aye, I spoke to him. Um, obviously, he's really disappointed and, and hurting a lot. He's been at the club a long time. Um, club legend, been here for so many years, seen everything that um, any of us probably could see or have seen in our time. So, um, I just really disappointed that we've let him down, but. Um, he more than most knows how important the game is on Wednesday night. He's desperate for us to get a result, so um, that's what we're going to um, look to try and do come Wednesday. Mm. Is it one session you've had then, Stuart? Aye, um, Stuart took us yesterday, um, and like I say, it was a really positive session. But the sessions under the previous manager as well, they were really good. Um, it just came come the match day. We, we, we let them down individual performances, um, kind of kind of uncontrollable for him, people make mistakes on the pitch. Um, so uh, the training, the training with, with Stuart was really good, the, the training with the previous man has been really good, but ultimately we can train well, we can talk well, but I know people just want us to, to perform well on the pitch now. If you think the players maybe let the manager down, if there been some home truths dished out in the dressing room amongst the players in the last couple of days? Um, I, they've, been ha they've been going on the whole season. Um, that's not something that's just happened in the, in the last couple of days, um, because ultimately we've, we've lost a, a fair few games that we, we feel as though we shouldn't have, or, or even through games that we, we feel as though we should have maybe won, so the boys are only daft and naive, we know we've not been good enough, um, like I say, the consequence of that is the manager's left, um, no, but none of us are, are daft or naive to think that any of us are, are, are doing well, um, but we're, we all know there's, I think there's over a third of the season still to go, so um, we, need, we need to be ready to go. What do you think needs to change on match days to start picking up results? <sighs> yeah, if, I, if I could just tell you, then we would just do it. Do you know what I mean? Um, it's not that. It's not that easy. Um, we're desperate to win. We're massively hurting when we don't win. Like I said, we've got all the fans coming supporters at weekend. We don't want to let them down. Um, they'll be the same people will be here again on Wednesday night. Um, they've no right to, to come here. They've came again on Sunday after a poor run of results. They'll be here again on Wednesday night. Um, but we need to make sure we're already we're as best prepared as we, we possibly can be because we know St Mirren will be um, and we'll come up with a game plan to try and win this game this might be the most important three points that, um, during the season we might stay in the league by three points we might um, go higher up by three points so um, like I say these three points come Wednesday night are going to be massive and, and they're up for grabs I know you were hurting um, for Stephen and you were desperately sorry Aye. for Stephen but do you feel that a different voice in the dressing room might be enough to kick start things a little bit? E e uh, even if Stuart doesn't make wholesale changes, just right. that different voice and different perspective? No, I understand uh, your question but ultimately we'll see post Wednesday night won't we? Um, it's easy for me to say it's going to be this or going to be that. Um, I don't think people want me to really say anything, I just think they want me to deliver on the pitch. So. Um, after Wednesday night, like I say, he's obviously had a, a positive reaction in training yesterday. Um, not a position um, he thought he was going to find himself in Stuart when he first came in. Um, but the reality is that is the situation now and, and we are where we are. So we need everybody pulling together, um, all the players sit together, all the staff to sit together um, and try and give the, the support or something to at least recognise and, and, and be happy coming to watch it every week. You say there's still a third of the season left, but mm -hmm. with the manager leaving the cup exit, has the reality of the situation hit you harder this week? Do you think? Um, I that's probably fair, but it's been it's been clear we've not been winning games, um, and I think when you when you don't win games, you kind of it's clear as anything. Do you know what I mean? You go home disappointed. You've got family here watching. You've let them down. You've let your teammates down. You've let the supporters down. Um, so reality kicks in as soon as as soon as you lose a game. Obviously, the consequence of the manager leaving is horrible, um, especially when he had a, such a good relationship with so many players, um, and he was such a good manager. It just feels as though we, as his players, have, have let him down by mistakes on the pitch. So, um, I the reality is we aren't really here. It's kicked in, but um, like I said, some other really good team we played them a couple of weeks ago. 
they beat us 1-0 so it's a really close game if anybody was there there was nothing in the game um, so we need to make sure that come Wednesday night um, we're really competitive in this match yeah it's a big number of supporters up the road on mm-hmm. Saturday they'll be here again on Wednesday what's your message to the fans? I know it's been difficult um, I know loads of us as players haven't been playing um, well enough um, I know they just want us to deliver on the pitch and all that I don't. I know they don't want me to hear me saying this or say that or they'll say it's easy for me to talk and I understand all that um, but to answer your question I do think the fans just want me to deliver on the pitch it's not about me saying anything just do well for them on the pitch When did you find out Stevie was leaving? Did he come and speak to you after the game? The chance <laughs> like that? Um, no I think my I don't know if you after the game was kind of a realisation of what the players had potentially caused. Um, I don't think we're daft or naive enough to to know understand the situation. Um, that's why I was hurting because I felt as though personally and, and collectively we, we were potentially going to be a consequence um, of the manager leaving. So um, we then found out a couple of hours whenever yourselves found out when it came out. Um, and then we, we, we spoke as a group um, about the situation and then we, we, we moved forward. Um, I spoke to the manager personally, and um, I had a really good relationship with him. Um, and just disappointed and, and sorry that we, we never done well enough for him, simple as that. We failed to deliver on the pitch for him, I, I don't mind saying that, the boys in the changing room know that. Um, honest group of boys who know that we've let him down, but um, we don't want to let the club down anymore and we need to start off on the pitch and that starts Wednesday. Yeah, you said yourself that you were hurting post-match, how much is this difficult spell on the pitch been affecting you when you're, when you're going home? and? Uh, the kind of off the pitch stuff is that really tough to take when, when you get home after that it's just really tough to take on the pitch I just hate losing games um, aye it's horrible honestly it's absolutely horrible but you need to you need to have broad shoulders you need to get your head up and you just need to go on with it um, we're going to be out there again on Wednesday night I, nobody else can get us out of this situation that we're in um, like I said the, the game on Wednesday night is going to be really difficult so we've not got time to be moping about feeling sorry for ourselves we need to be ready to go um, our back's against the wall now so um, we need to fight, we need to fight, we need to scrap, and that starts Wednesday. When a few times like this, often senior players come together mm-hmm. and speak to the rest of the group. Mm-hmm. So, has that happened since, since Saturday? Uh, the, the players are um, always speaking. Um, since Saturday we spoke, we've been made aware of the situation, um, the plan in place for the game on Wednesday night, in terms of um, Stuart have been given the utmost respect and um, 100% effort from every single individual that's in the building to try and get the best performance and result on Wednesday night. Uh, um, the players are aware of the, the consequence of the manager leaving, so I don't think publicly we need to be saying well, it's obvious, isn't it? We, we've, we, we've caused it. So we know that. Um, like I said, the, the manager who's away now, nobody wants us to win this game more on Wednesday night than him, so full focus needs to go on that now because um, it's a massive game, massive game for us for in terms of the season where we could p- potentially finish. Um, and it's, it's a huge three points that are, that are for grabs. Yeah, it's a few times you said that now, how massive these three points could be. Mm-hmm. And it could just take one game, two games, and uh-huh. then you're suddenly away from that relegation. Aye. No, absolutely spot on. Um, and that's no me saying that, f- that's just the reality of it. Um, I think there's probably four or maybe five teams that are still there or thereabouts. So um, all of a sudden you win a couple of games, that the whole thing looks different. Um, but really, it's not about a couple of games for us, you know, it's just one game at a time, mm-hmm. one training session at a time. So try and train really well today, try and come up with a game plan to, to beat St Mirren and we'll try and execute that to, to the best of our ability.